morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. We're now officially over halfway. We are in my last week of work. I am done Friday at noonish. It is 4.30 this morning, and I am just waking up. I slept really well last night. I fell asleep probably by 8 o'clock, 8.30. So I have a good night's rest in me and yeah, what I'm going to do right now and what I actually started this weekend and I forgot to talk about it is my friend Rebecca had gifted me like a friend subscription to Masterclass. If you've not heard of it, um, it's like where celebrities and entrepreneurs and business people share and teach around something. Serena Williams did one in tennis. Uh, it's a really cool platform. It's an app. There's videos that go through each lesson. So my subscription had ran out and I ended up purchasing another one. It's around $180 for the year, but you have access to all them all. So I'm actually working right now through a course on resilience taught by Hillary Clinton. I know she's polarizing for some and everyone is entitled to their opinion. I find her to be incredibly intelligent and I have really enjoyed her lesson on resilience and she actually approaches it in a bunch of different ways which I found very interesting. Um, for example, she talks about her planning system and her organization because in order to be resilient there is an aspect of planning and organization that is really important and that was in lesson four so I'm going to sit down with my cup of coffee and work through lesson five I keep my notebook out I jot down ideas but I have found it really helpful these first four lessons and it's a very interesting view of resilience and what it requires to be resilient and it goes just beyond like getting through it or like rebounding. She talks about planning an organization. I know there's a lesson around like naysayers and like all of these little components that we oftentimes forget contribute to our resilience. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna enjoy some cup of coffee. And then if I have time this morning, I'm probably gonna hop on my Peloton. It is four o'clock and I am home, which is a really really good time but we're in that weird lighting phase of the day i also just passed steven and i have a plethora of packages steven has a very bad habit of breaking all my wine glasses so i had to replace some because he's broken most of them when pulling them out of the dishwasher also another one of my shirts came that i had ordered from my merch shop it's linked down below the designs are really cute for vlogmas this year and you guys have bought them up and are loving them so let me go ahead and get these glasses on wrapped and i'll show you what i picked up steven come here look what i bought <gasps> I can't wait to break these. That's why I had to buy them. <laughs> and this one you've already broken. So now that's the Olivia Pope glass. But now it's replaced. My favorite one that you broke is sold out. So I've bought Well, see, let's let's I do like the shape of this I do one. I like though. that one too. Let's be clear. The only person who cleans these wine glasses is me. So usually Ooh, that's how someone they, wore their sassy pants today. I'm just being I'm just being brutally honest. <laughs> you never clean them out, you will put them in the sink. So if you want these wine glasses to, if you want them to stay in one piece, you need to clean them yourself. Otherwise, I will clean them and they will probably get broken. You are being sassy today. I'm just being truthful. Like even the ones that you tell me to wash by hand ultimately get broken. So it's not even the dishwasher's fault. No, you don't have to wash any of these. You don't have to wash wine glasses by but hand. See, but see, for instance, I'll just take this one because it looks dirty. For instance, this is how you place a wine glass in the sink. I'd agree with that. Even those fancy ones. So I can't, I can't, first of all, I can't deal with the wine glass on the end. Like, it, it looks messy. So I'll either put it in the dishwasher or wash it, and then it will break. So if you want your wine glasses intact, don't do this. 
But how how does that make it break? Because I'm clumsy. I mean, all you're doing... I mean, I get... The reason I lay it down is because I feel like if it's like that, someone's going to knock it and it's going to break in the sink and we're going to have glass down the thing. So I figure if it's already laying down... No, if I, you knock it around, it's most likely won't no, break. No, I think of the opposite because then you can't see it from afar and you're going to put something on it because... But that's never been a reason why something has broken. No, I'm saying I'm clumsy. So I'm saying that that is who you married. I'm clumsy and I break wine glasses. So if you want not me, if you want a wine glass intact, then you should clean it because inevitably if I clean it, it will be broken. Just like the Seville from 2012. No, no, he broke that. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Bubby, he will blame you for that till your death. I claim the thing. You never would break a Seville. He broke the Seville. And my nephew broke the other wine glass. No, he did not. You already said that was not truthful. So you want to sit here and demand that you're so truthful and you tried to blame your... Three-year-old three nephew about a broken wine glass from Thanksgiving. Well, he was running around here chasing bubbas, so I thought he threw. I thought the two of them had a housewives fight, and he threw the glass and some wine above his face, which might have happened, but he didn't break the glass. So these are the glasses so, I bought. I really love the shape of this one, and then I bought these like two cute etched ones. This is the Olivia Pope glass. I forget what it's called, the Camille, and then they had this red holiday one that I just thought would be fun. So replaced about seven. I bought five, but he's broken about seven or eight. All right, let's go ahead while we're up and open some advent calendars. Can you even believe it is day 13? I can't get over it. We got a good Beekman vanilla soap. Let's find day 13. I feel like I saw 13 yesterday. Huh. Do you see 13? Wait, I really... I really don't see 15, 3, 21, 17, 2, 5. Oh, it was right in front of me. We got a ice shower gel. Also, someone in the comments told me that William Morris was originally a wallpaper company, which explains why I said that this advent calendar and the design reminded me of wallpaper. We got a rose bath. Not a huge fan of rose as a scent, so that might just go in a guest room. Day two. These ones are in order as well. This is a French lavender. Mm, I really like it. It's very clean smelling. Then we have day 13, which is Holly. <gasps> oh, it's a corgi. Bubby, and it's wearing a crown. Bubby, do you want to meet Holly? Let's see if he comes. Bubby, come meet Holly. Oh, he's eating dinner. We won't interrupt him. All right, we will add Holly into the mix. Those are done. Let's head into the pantry. Pour some sugar on me. Day 13. These are the golden pearls and they're like chocolate covered candies. Day 13 of this disappointment. Dolly is not a disappointment, just the calendar. Have a holly, dolly. Oh, looky, another empty box. Yay, Dolly. And let's go ahead 
to spice up your life. Tell tell you what I want, what I really really want. So tell me what you want, what you really really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really 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 wanna zig a zig. If you wanna be my lover. Ooh, a roasting spice. I actually wanna roast something next weekend. I might use this as my dry rub. All right, so many things already taken care of. Steven also swung by my P.O. box and there were some cute cards from everyone. So let's go ahead and check these out. I have kept every single card from every vlog mess. I've never thrown one out. They are in a box downstairs. Um, so I keep every single one. Seasons greetings from Sherry in California. Love, love, love you and your YouTube channel. Oh, and she sent it to Steven Bubba's and me. Mary and Bright, that's a beautiful card. Leslie, this is so kind. Oh, that warms my heart. Peace, fuzz, and joy with love the Thompsons, John, Stacy, Zach, and Zeke. That is adorable. Peace, fuzz, joy. This is adorably addressed. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, this is from Sweet Julie Marie. She has sent me things before. I'm gonna leave her shop linked. So she sent me gift tags. She sent me cards. She makes all of these. They're stunningly beautiful. She sent me cards last year. Silent Night, One of a Kind, Mary, everything. Also, can we talk? I'm gonna leave her shop link down below so you can check it out. Can you like just admire her handwriting? Oh, Julie, thank you so, so much. Her stuff is incredible. I'm going to leave her shop link down below so you can check it out. Please go and support her. Like the quality and the beauty of the cards is unmatched. Stunning work. Who's there? Who's there? Looky. Who's there? He's so agile, he's jumping over my laptop. Oh. It cracked a screen. No, it didn't. It's time to replace that old thing anyway. And go to the Apple store immediately. Well, the laptop just took a spill. I think we're still up and running. I'm in the middle of editing. Well, that didn't go according to plan. We were actually videotaping how agile he was being because he was literally jumping over the cord, but that didn't, that didn't work out. Well, is the computer okay? I think so. All right. We might have to go buy a new one. Luckily, no, we live five no. minutes from an Apple store. No, no, no. We need a new computer ASAP. We have so many apples. Yes, but in I this need a house. MacBook Pro for my editing. We can make an orchard in this house. We have so many Apple products. He, I'm surprised he doesn't have. Them. Bubby, our plan is working. You'll have a new MacBook Pro by the end of the week. See, you just said he never breaks anything. Look, he, he, he tried to break the computer. That's what he did with the Seville. It's the, it was the same thing. All right, here you go. <gasps> what is this? What is this? Oh. Uh, 13, lucky number 13. That's Taylor Swift's lucky number. Oh, whatever. Oh, it's a tan one. There you go. You still have 12. We are having a very <laughs> low key dinner. Steven made a bowl of rice. We have a rotisserie chicken, and we have some corn. I heated up my rotisserie chicken. Plus, plus my favorite, the Trader Joe's. He puts it on everything. I'm, well, I mean, it's great for everything. Because <laughs> it is everything. You have gotten a glimpse of our evening tonight. We're going to have dinner. I have a little bit of work that I need to do this evening, and I still need to edit the rest of this footage. <laughs> I wanted to let you guys know that I kind of was separated from the news this weekend. Stephen and I really took some time to disconnect and I have learned about all that had happened in Kentucky. And I did some research today and I actually 
donated both to American Red Cross, but also ky.gov also set up a donation site as well for the victims. And I will leave all of those linked below. If you're following me on Instagram, some of you have already started donating and I shared those over there. If you have it to give, please, please do if you can and give what you can. Every little bit will help as we think about this season and all of the acts of giving that we've been doing for ourselves and for others. I think this is a really important one. And for all of you who live in Kentucky, our hearts and prayers are with all of you and um, we're thinking of you. So with that, I'm going to sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, bye-bye.